for me, I think uh, what did it, like what got me into metal and it was just um, through some friends that were like just I uh, was hanging out with and um, they kind of like had all these weird shirts that I never seen uh, before that looked evil and crazy and I was like, what's this? And they started telling me, well, this is this band and this is another band and I slowly got interested by it uh, that way first, uh, which is sometimes uh, not the way normally people would go about. I think people uh, listen to their music first. So for me, it was the imagery first that got me, and then I, I got into listening to the music, and uh, I slowly um, just started liking it a lot. And, and just, and just uh, you know, I, I remember my first uh, my first album was Kill 'Em All from Metallica, and it was the artwork that got to me with the hammer and the blood stain, and I was like, that's look crazy, and I, and I, it just it got my attention, you know. And I think that's the thing about metal is it's it's um, it's special as a scene and everything. And it's not just the music. I think it's the imagery that comes with it and everything. I think I was attracted by all that. Um, I was always a rebel uh, since I was a little kid. I, I, I haven't really much changed, as many people could tell you that are friends of mine. <laughs> I'm, I'm always uh, uh, against, I think, some sort of authority or whatever when I feel it's not right. And, I, I think that metal represents that very well, and I think I was always attracted by that. That's pretty much how I kind of started in my early teens, you know, in my, my early teens getting into metal and, uh, and that rebellious form of music, you know. But my first record was Michael Jackson's Thriller. I have to put that in there. Uh, the one thing about Michael Jackson that's cool is that he wrote his music, like, with his, with his mind and just him in the beats, you know, and, and the music. He would He would... He would go with his mouth and start, you know, kind of like making his own music and then would tell the musicians, this is what I need to be done, right? And um, the one thing I took from that is that I, when I, even when I write Cataclysm, I have a riff in my head that I can have, have him taking my shower and I'm thinking about a riff or something and I'll be like, there's no way I can express it. So I would call, take the phone and tell JF, I will do this type of riff, you know? And one of those riffs was like, uh, like uh, as I slither from uh, Serenity and Fire, you know, gin, 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 and I was like, they've got to do this. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. I, like, in Canada, there's no all ages. So when I was a kid, it was hard for me to get, like, to concerts. And I didn't have a bigger brother or anybody that would bring me to concerts. So it would be like uh, when the big arena uh, bands would come through, uh, Metallica or whatever. Um, I wasn't able to, to really attend them, you know. But when I started getting a bit older, and um, I was 17, um, I think my first concert was, um, I think when I was 18, one of my first, no, when I was 16, I snuck in a Napalm Death concert <laughs> with Godflesh, I was, I was supporting him, and I think Nocturnus was on it, that's very old, and I think I was 15 or 16, it was my first death metal concert. I mean, I was listening already to that stuff, but it was the first time that I really, was able to kind of experience it and um, it was the, the raw power of it I was like I was just blown away by it like it's just you know it's something when you listen to an album but when you see the band live delivering that intense power it's just like a napalm death man I mean that I think that album was I think it was come or harmony of corruption it was like in that time frame and um, it was absolutely incredible, and and then you know what did it for me was the Slayer Testament uh, tour when they played when they toured together, and I was a huge, and I still am a big Testament fan, um, and of course Slayer, who doesn't like Slayer, you know, but uh, I love Testament, and I actually went for Testament, and uh, it was on the Practice What You Preach record, um, and I was just like blown away by it, you know, and that's like that's what I want to do, you know.